Hi everyone, John here. Welcome back to another Topo Talk. I'm just working on this crankcase for the Indian Scout Bobber motorcycle. Most of this was done by Toby Pittman. I'm just finishing it off while Toby's busy. And I came to this section here, just in here, and I thought this was uh, quite a good little sort of topology example that I could show you. We've got the crankcase at the back. We've got this front section here. I'm not sure what this is called. And I'm presuming that Toby modeled this first and then he split the geometry off and then he used that as part of the crankcase. And you can see how that sort of fits perfectly. It's in perfect register there. And of course, I don't want to go messing up the geometry here because it's no longer going to fit. I just go into my subdivision surface there. You can see how that's perfectly aligned. I mean, I've, I've removed one of the edges there and you can see how that doesn't line up. But that's not what I want to focus on really. What I want to look at is this diamond here. You can see I need that edge to keep that in registration, but under subdivision you can see how that curves around. Now if we come down and apply, it's not such a big deal once the subdivision has been applied. You can see that that looks pretty good and the geometry is pretty nice. I'm going to undo that. If I come down to 1 and 1 and just apply that again, still it works okay. We have got that diamond in the corner there, but generally I think that works pretty well. So you could leave it as it is. I just wanted to show you another option though. What we can do is we can push this diamond a little further down onto this surface and we can do that just by coming up and turning on auto merge. Grab the knife tool and cut. Just terminate that one there. Right mouse and then add another cut in here and again terminate that there. Space to accept. Now obviously we've got a massive pole here, six-sided pole. What we'll do in edge mode is select that edge and control X to dissolve. Now go into vertex mode, GG to slide, and just slide that out. And you can see, yes, we have got a five sided pole there, but that's on a flat surface. But we've moved that diamond quad further onto this flat surface. And you can see we've got good edge flow through here now. I can alt click and select that edge. So now if we go into subdivision, you can see how that's moved that onto that flat surface. And it looks better in this section. If we apply that, let's just move that further down. So I thought that'd be a nice example to share with you. I'll probably have a whole bunch more examples by the time I've finished up this engine. So I'll endeavor to record more tutorials. So thanks for watching. Hope that's useful. See you in another Topo Talk.